नमस्कार वेलकम बैक टू स्पॉटलाइट द स्पॉटलाइट टुडे इज ऑन रॉयन रघु एन अमेजिंग बॉय हु हैड सो मेनी कॉन्ट्स इन हिज लाइफ ही कैन नॉट डू दिस ही कैन नॉट वर्क ही कैन नॉट लिव बियॉन्ड दिस एज एंड ही हैज टर्न ऑल दोस कॉन्ट्स इनटू कैन व्हाट एन इन incredible boy and for such an incredible boy there has to be an incredible family behind him and i'm here in croydon to meet that family so tag along What an incredible son! Yes, he, he, he's a, he's a very self-motivated young man, and you know when he was born, we we had all sorts of worries about him, but we kind of look at him 20 years later, and and we're very all proud. He, he worked very hard, and I would say to everybody, he's a self-made man. We just kind of put in what we needed to put in, and it's a bit like when you're making the curry. It, 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 at the end of it, it all tastes good. He was your first child. When did you discover the cerebral palsy, and what did it make you feel? We try not to deal on that so much. Uh, basically, when when Ryan was born, his mother had an accident, not too far from down the road here, and and they said that she wouldn't be able to have kids. Uh, we moved to Germany then, and we lived in Germany for two years. And a German doctor said, "Well, no, there's no reason why Tina can't have children," and they gave her some sort of fertility thing, and the kids just. kept on turning up after that so whatever they did it was good and um you know it's one of those things you know when when kids come along and they, they you just do the best you can so when did you notice something was wrong and what did it make you feel um uh, big grandma said something's not quite right with this child and um we didn't really think anything was wrong and then um a friend of ours said that you can get a second opinion from Great Ormond Street and that's when the process started so you didn't know how long for about this uh, cerebral palsy we we didn't know anything at all because basically the hospital or we can't mention them for obvious reasons um were saying that he's fine he needs physiotherapy he needs this he needs that and they knew all along what was wrong oh my goodness me so how old was he when you discovered finally what's wrong with him He was very young, about six months, nine months old. Uh, yeah, he was, yeah, he was very young. young mm. Because that's when my mum discovered that. Your mum, your Abby, yes, 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 with his left hand and his yeah. foot couldn't. It was all floppy. Yeah, all floppy. It was all floppy. Yeah, yeah. couldn't use this. And couldn't swallow. And what did it do to you? I mean, what did you? As parents, you kind of kick into an automatic mode, and you think of everything that you can do to make it easier. So we chew his food for him, put it in his mouth. Uh, we'd give him physiotherapy. Our family is very good at massage and things like that, and we've always grown up with it. So we'd massage him constantly, make him stretch. Um, if he wanted to reach for something horribly, we'd move it away and make him stretch for it. So it was it was kind of a painful thing at the time but we knew that that was the way to make him go forward. Tough love. Yes. yes. Tough yes. love. Yes. Yes. He said he did say yeah tough love. Yes. And I think he told me the Indian therapy worked. What yes. was it? Just massage in the whole body mm-hmm. taking a child on your lap mm-hmm. massaging from the neck right down mm-hmm. to the toes of the baby. massaging the baby's toes massaging their hands crossing their hands putting their hands to the back to their back bringing their head forward uh turn the child over again where the head is hanging yes. on grandma's lap or mom's lap yes. and the, the feet up to the child's yeah, to the typical grand- yeah. indian yeah. massage yeah. so i think so yeah. and that that crossing, helped because yeah. apparently that helped him more than the yes. medicines and the physiotherapy yes. it did It so. did. Thank you. Now we go and meet the two brothers. We also want to show you how uh, the house has been equipped for Ryan, and also, most interestingly, what a household run by men looks like. So come on then. We got three boys, and their dad's dining room. Hey, Sean. 
How are you? Very well, yourself? And that's Tom. With a headphone. Cool. Chilled out. Chilled out household. Thomas and Sean. Sean? Yes. Come, come. If you turn around for me, please. There you are. We made him get out. <laughs> <laughs> so, so, um, you're not listening, Ryan, okay? <laughs> So what do you, what do you, why does your brother smile less? Uh, we need to tickle him to make him smile. Well, Ryan, <laughs> I guess. Does he, does he not smile less? It depends on who he's around and what the situation. My God, it's me then. <laughs> no, I don't like that. <laughs> what is he for you? Um, well, he's just, my, he's my own brother, so that's the best I can put oh. it. I thought, uh, okay, brilliant. Yeah. What do you feel about what he's doing, what he's done? I'm very proud of him. Very proud that when I was when I was younger, you see how he how he was, and now he's changed. Now he's becoming who he is. It's quite nice to see that. So tell me some some naughty stuff about your brother, huh? He's not listening. He's not Ryan. here. Hmm. <laughs> yeah, Ryan. Ryan doesn't really chat to girls, does he? Hmm. <laughs> Ryan needs to get a girlfriend. So, yes, he does. He needs to have a Paralympic gold medal before he gets a girlfriend. That's my deal with him. Yeah. Mm. He should get a girlfriend before. Really? Yes. Why? So that she can cheer from the uh, fall. Yeah, someone to celebrate his success with. No, you guys will celebrate his success. Yeah, we will, but he needs other people as well. Long jump, running, now music. No, nah, music was there long before, long before running and long jump. Um, all the things I've been through in life, you know, I, there's always a, a song that can help me get through the hard times. So I have different songs for different, different really? memories. Yeah, so yeah, yeah. What is the song for today? What's the song for today? Go on, DJ play, Ryan DJ. And it's nice, cool name, Ryan okay. Ragu DJ. I'll give you a song for today. Okay, then we're gonna have a song for today, and we can have a dance over that song and the, around the pool table. How's that? Well, all of us dance away to Ryan's success. What a beautiful little scene. Kitchen, dancing, pool table, ideal. Ideal, absolutely ideal, happy family. But you must stay tuned on Spotlight because we have to still talk to Ryan's coach and see where he's going from here. So stay tuned on Spotlight. Dance.